So let's check in with meteorologist Stacy Ann Gooden, who is in for Byron Miranda this morning. Hey, Stacy, happy Friday. Oh, happy Friday, Betty. Happy, happy Friday, John. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> We earned it this week. We did, right? And it's something about Fridays that just put a smile on your face. Maybe it's because, you know, you got the whole weekend ahead and brighter conditions. Just got to get through this messy morning commute. Eventually, though, things will clear out. Uh, it should start to taper off sometime within the next hour or two, and it goes from west to east uh, between 8 and about 11 a.m. for the five boroughs and about noon to 2 east and end of Long Island. There could be a few leftover sprinkles here and there as well later on this afternoon even past two in some spots, mostly clear, refreshing for tonight, and it's just going to be nice and mild over the weekend and even into early next week, picking up some lightning strikes. Fortunately, it's out in the Atlantic, but we are picking up some heavy downpours in spots across the five boroughs as well as Nassau and even Suffolk County as well as uh, Connecticut for that matter. Let's zoom right on in. If you're in Southampton, even Riverhead and East Quag, we're looking at those heavy downpours. Now, this is where rain is coming down in buckets like blinding for you to see. But if you head further west here, like Corum, uh, Miller Place, down into Sayville, a little bit of a break there. And we anticipate it to be kind of like that scenario through the rest of the morning and even into the afternoon across portions of Long Island. So taking a look right now, temperature wise, we're in the upper 50s, low 60s and the winds have lightened up. But let me tell you, those winds were gusting. As I mentioned before, it was pulling down some wires and even some trees in parts of New Jersey. But right now we're in the single digit which is great news and it'll continue to really simmer down throughout the afternoon. Upper 60s, low 70s for your highs and taking a look, gradual clearing to be anticipated. It'll take some time for the clouds to really clear out, but once it does, it's going to really be nice. And that front will become stationary. And what that's going to do is going to throw back some moisture this way, eastern end of Long Island tomorrow evening into the overnight, may even see some pockets of showers. And then we do finally clear out and it'll be a nice autumn day for your Sunday. And we're also keeping an eye on the tropics. Now, Sam, as of the last update, now a hurricane and it's continuing to churn some strong convection there. And we have a couple scenarios that we're working with, uh, one being that it will stay west and move in toward the Leeward Islands or it could head north. And it all depends on the Earth's rotation and some other uh, things that we'll talk about a little bit later on. But wanted to tell you about what's going on for the next seven days. We max out at 73 degrees, 70s throughout, and then we get a little bit of a bump up as we head into next week. Some areas by Tuesday may even get closer to that 80 degree mark, but I think it's safe to say we'll be in the mid to upper 70s. Overnight temperatures, though, we get a break there, we'll be in the 50s tonight, so it's going to be beautiful, gorgeous sleeping weather.